Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a project pan type of video. I haven't done one of these in so long, but I basically just wanted to make this video because I have a lot of products in my collection that I just really want to finish or want to get rid of or I just want to make like a conscious effort to use them. So I decided that I would just go back to doing like the original project pan type of videos. And I think I'm gonna give myself until the end of October to do an update for you guys because I am gonna be like in the process of moving September and October timeframe. So I think October, like the end, the last week of October would be a good time for me to update you guys because I should have all of my makeup by then. I should have my filming equipment and everything back set up so that I can start back filming videos. So I will do an update then and let you guys know what else I'm gonna add in or you know if I finished anything, all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna jump right into the products that I wanna use up. So I'm gonna start with primers. I technically have four different primers um the first one is the smashbox photo finish primerizer and this is how much i have left of this so little product but i just forget to use this all the time and that's why it's so hard for me to finish up but basically when i use this i just use this in place of my moisturizer and then i still go in with other primers on top of this so to be honest with you it's not really serving a huge purpose in my collection so i really just want to use it up and then i probably wouldn't repurchase it after that and then two primers that are like really in the same boat as a smashbox one they're like pretty much almost done this is the nyx total control drop primer and then this is the nyx tea tree serum primer i'm literally looking at this in the light and it is literally down to here i can probably get like one or two more uses out of this but it's literally on its last leg and then this one as you can see i have about that much left in here but with this primer i find that i don't need to use a lot because it does dry down to like a powder finish like a matte finish so i don't need to use a lot of this so this is probably going to take me a couple weeks if not a whole nother month to use just that little tiny bit of it and then the primer that's going to take the longest to use this is the elf beauty shield antioxidant enriched skin protection spf 50 skin shielding primer in universal tint i literally just got this primer i actually have two of them but um i literally just got this primer and i just found out that this is like one of my holy grail primers it's up there with my nyx can't stop won't stop as far as primers go because it keeps my skin super matte all day long and i'm not exaggerating i'm not saying like it keeps me matte for like five six hours no this thing keeps me matte up until like the 9 10 11 hour mark it is such a good primer it really just clings on to my makeup the only bad thing about this is that it's not a universal tint this definitely gives me like a white cast because of the high SPF in it it's zinc oxide and it's 25 percent so that's what the color looks like but look at the white cast seriously you guys when I put this on my face this is exactly what my face looks like before I go over top of it with a foundation and you can see look at that color difference but I don't care about the fact that it leaves my skin looking white like I said when I put my foundation on it covers everything so I'm not worried about that but it really grips and clings on to my foundation and just holds my makeup all day literally until I wash it off but um the expiration date on this is January 2020 so it actually has the expiration date printed up here and I was like January 2020 is literally right around the corner and summer is almost over even though you're supposed to use SPF all the time summer is almost over so I wanted to get as much use out of this primer as I can I'm pretty sure that I can use this up by January there's so much in here though it's a um it's a pump there's so much in here so I'm gonna try and use this one up so then I have two foundations and I already know that I'm gonna rotate foundations in when I'm done with the foundations that I'm putting in because I have so many foundations to go through it doesn't make any sense I have been like on a kick of purchasing foundations and concealers and setting powders I don't know why but I've been purchasing those a lot more than I normally used to so now I gotta go through them all so I have the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation which is actually 
one of my favorite holy grail foundations and i have mine in the shade 4.05 and i'm definitely going to repurchase this foundation when i run out of it probably not right away but i'm eventually going to repurchase this foundation and then i also have the Too faced peach perfect comfort matte foundation in the shade mahogany and again this is one of my holy grail foundations and i definitely want to use this one up because i want to purchase this foundation in my correct shade which would be chai i believe because that's a shade that i wear in the born this way born this way foundation so i want to go ahead and just purchase this in my correct shade but yeah i want to use these two up the smashbox one i done shook it up already but if i'm not mistaken it's like down to here and i actually use a lot of this foundation when I use it and then the Too Faced one is like down here so I just really want to use both of those up and get them out for concealer I have one of my favorite concealers this is the elf flawless concealer in the shade deep olive and I have like three of these concealers and I do multi use this concealer I use it to clean up my eyebrows and I also use it for under my eyes when I'm going to work so I do get like a ton of use out of this concealer um, so I'll probably go through this one really fast I went through my first one really fast and I took the stopper out and everything so I'm pretty sure that I can get through this concealer pretty quickly so I'm putting that in and then another concealer that I want to put in, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. This is not my favorite concealer just because it's such a thick drying consistency. It's not even really that thick, it's just a very drying consistency and I realized that I like my concealers more liquidy. Um, it reminds me of their new stay naked correcting concealer which again this is not my favorite because i just feel like it's very drying it dries down very quickly and it's not as liquidy so i just want to hurry up and use this and get it out of my collection and i have the shade medium dark neutral there was a point in time where i really really liked this concealer but not anymore i like my under eyes to be a lot more hydrated and just look a lot more youthful and fresh so then i have a powder here i actually got um two powders so this is the nyx hd finishing powder in the shade banana so as you guys can see i've already hit pan on this and i want to go ahead and finish it up I just want to get this used up so i can go to my loose powders and then i have an elf translucent mattifying powder and i actually use this to set my eyelids before i start doing my eyeshadow because i live for setting my eyelids i know a lot of people don't like that but yeah um i can already see the rings in this powder so yeah i just want to go ahead and use it up these next two products that i'm about to show y'all they are literally on their last leg i am going to seriously have to repress them because they're so hard to use right now and i was just holding off on repressing them but it's time now so this is my elf contouring blush and bronzer in the shade antigua and look at this bronzer there is literally nothing left i really could call this done if i wanted to but um it's literally just around the sides i have gone through probably three of these bronzers since i first started using them back in 2012 i'm just gonna have to crush it up and repress it so i can use the rest of it up but it is literally on its last leg same thing for this blush this is the elf blush palette in dark and this is the shade that i've been using and it's all around the side so i'm gonna crush it up and repress it and finish it up this is like my favorite everyday blush it just gives me a really nice flush of color and i just really really like it so yeah go ahead and use that up this highlighter that i've literally been using forever and it's the tiniest little miniest size ever this is the bomb betty luminizer and i crushed it up i was gonna repress it but i'm actually gonna use it as a loose highlighter that's how i've been using it so i literally only have like well i say the tiniest bit but that's actually a lot of highlighter since i'm using it like every day for work and i don't do that much highlighter but that's how much i have left so i'm gonna try and finish that off and get it out of my collection because i'm just sick of having that little mini around like i feel like it's taunting me like 
you haven't used me up yet i'm so small and i'm sick of it this is the this is the um sephora waterproof 12 hour wear eyeliner in the shade tiramisu which is basically just a dark brown shade i swatched it right there this is how much i have of this eyeliner then i have two lip liners so the first one is my nyx lip pencil in the shade nutmeg and it's already a little small baby size really really tiny comes right there on my hand and I go through these brown lip liners like nobody's business so I know that this is not going to be a problem for me to use up and then I have this one from Kylie Cosmetics this is in the shade brown sugar and it's literally like the perfect brown nude for my skin tone so yeah I want to try and use this one up as well and this is how big this one is from the bottom of my hand that's how big it is so yeah i'm gonna try and use that one up as well okay so then i have some eyeshadows that i want to try and hit pan on because i know damn well i'm not going to be able to use these completely up so this is the warriors um, eyeshadow palette by Juvia's Place. This is the first edition and I know everybody and their mom has like canceled Juvia's Place and like I'm mad at sis but I'm not gonna cancel her products that I've already paid my money for especially because I like just got these products in like her foundation and concealer and powder. I just started using those and some of her palettes so I'm not gonna cancel the products that I bought so you can feel how you want to feel about it but um I'm just gonna use these two eyeshadows I want to hit pan on both of those so the first one is Kano or Kano and I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see but I kind of already have a little dip going and I also want to use um hit pan on the shade Benin Benign Benin um this one right here and it's like the perfect bronzy color on my lid matched with this color how it looks in the pan is not how it looks on my eyes i feel like it's a lot more bronzy on my eyes so i really really like using just those two colors for work every day so i'm pretty sure that i can hit pan on both of those even though these pans are huge if i just focus my brush in one area i'm pretty sure that i can hit pan on those and for lips i have this kylie matte liquid lipstick in the shade brown sugar to match that lip liner and i'm about to be done with some of the lip products that i have so i just want to include this one and I'm gonna take it with me on my move so that whenever I run out of the lipstick that I'm currently using, I'll already have this one on hand to start using it so that I can get some progress on it before I show you guys. So it's already like more than halfway gone because I used to use this color all the time and I can see down in the tube, it's more than halfway gone. So I know that liquid lipsticks are hard to use up but i'm pretty sure that i can get really close on this i'm not going to take the stopper out when i'm not getting enough product on the wand to put it on my lips and i'm just going to call it quits um and then i have this sephora gel gloss ultra brilliant lip shine and this is in the shade perfect nude and it's basically like a little mini and it's a really pretty color lip gloss and I can put this on top of some of my other lip colors that I have. So this will be easy to use up because I really, really like gloss. I can wear it on its own with a lip liner, with a lipstick. So this will be like super easy for me to use up and I just want to get rid of it. And then the last two lip products that I want to show you guys and I think that'll be it for this actual project. Um, another mini, this is the Bite Beauty Honeycomb Lipstick and I am so close to being done with this bad boy. So this right here is just plastic that I'm rubbing my nail on. That is only plastic. So that means just that part is the actual lipstick. So I'm really, really close on finishing it. And it is so soft that it kind of melts onto my lips. So that makes it a lot easier for me to use it up. So I know that this is gonna go 
pretty quickly and this is like one of those lipsticks that I said that I can put this lip gloss on top of because they actually like match perfectly so that's what I'm going to use that lip gloss with and then I have one last lip gloss this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. This is like another perfect nude shade that I could wear with um, a lip liner or by itself. It's just a really pretty type of nude shade. So that's it right there. And that's that Bite um, lipstick. So I could also pair this with the Bite lipstick as well. But it's just like a really pretty nude color. Again, that's in the shade Madeline. So that is everything that i want to try and use up and get out of my collection in the next coming few months i am going to like i said add things in once i use other things up so i guess this will be like a rolling project pan i don't know for how long i'm going to do the actual project pan but there are things in my collection that i want to use up and get more use out of so we'll see how long i can keep this going but yeah oh wait no 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 i forgot one more thing i forgot one more thing so this is the Too Faced Peach um, Mist. This is the Mattifying Setting Spray. So I bought this, I believe, in March. And this has like a six month expiration date on it. I don't really follow expiration dates on it. I just stop using products when I feel like they're not working anymore or they smell bad or whatever. But um, this is one that I wanted to get used up because it actually does have a scent to it. And I don't want it to go bad. So, like I said, I bought it in March. So, it's really, like, on its expiration date. I think I'm, like, quarter of the way done with this. It's, like, up here, I believe. Just from me holding it and feeling it, like, I think it's, like, up to here. So, I really do have some work to make on this. But I use it every day now for work. And I think it really sets my makeup and gives me a mattified look. Again, another, like, holy grail type of product so i definitely want to use this up so that it doesn't expire on me so i'm putting this in as well now that is everything that i have to show you guys and yeah i hope you stick around to see how much progress i'm gonna make and if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and if you're new hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notifications so that you are notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace